another vlogmas video. Instead of doing a normal vlog, I thought I would do like a Zara haul today. I've been bad and I ordered stuff from the baby section or the toddler section if you'd like to call it in Zara. I went on last Last Wednesday, I think it was, so I popped on there and I ordered a little bits and pieces. And then they put on another little deal thing from Black Friday onwards. So I just picked up some more bits. Frankie is outgrowing a lot of her clothes at the minute. So it just made more sense to use the Black Friday sales to get some bits and pieces for her for moving into. And I absolutely adore the Zara clothes. Not only are they absolutely beautiful, but they're really good quality. Um, everything washes really well as well. Like I find that sometimes you can get clothes from different kind of companies and things and you'll put them in the washing machine once and they'll come out and they'll either be misshaped or shrunk or something's like not great and they end up not lasting as long. And so I would rather spend just a tiny bit more to get something a little bit more substantial. So I thought I would bring you an amazing toddler slash baby because I'm pretty sure you can get these in really small sizes too. Zara haul for you. Um, break up vlogs a little bit by giving you something a little bit different, a little bit more fun and I don't know about any of you guys but I absolutely adore seeing little kids clothes. Kids clothes, to be honest I prefer shopping for kids clothes than I do my own clothes. <laughs> Mum life. Excuse this on my thumb. I sliced my finger when I was doing the washing up. So I'm just hoping that my thumb stays intact because I have sliced the top part of it off, which is not great. But anyway, without further ado, I thought, let's do this video. Let's show you what we got in Zara. So, first little box was the box that I had done from the Wednesday, so I'll do that first. It's obviously getting quite cold and stuff here in Scotland and I wanted to get Frankie just a couple of long sleeve tops. So this is actually like a set of two and it comes like in this little packet here. I'll take them out so you can actually see them. But they're basically just a long sleeved top like this. As you can see, just a nice little charcoal grey colour. At the top, it's got like this little frilly detailing on the top. It also has that on the bottom of the sleeves and stuff as well and it also comes with like this stone colour exact same top but just in this little stone colour I thought these were really really great for Frankie to wear underneath like anything or just to keep herself nice and warm and stuff through the winter months and keep her arms a little bit more toasty because it's getting a little bit jelly willy out there. And I quite like to be able to get things like this for nursery and stuff as well because it's just easy to be able to put on her and let her go and run wild and be free in nursery. So yeah, I picked up those little tops. I'll let you know what I paid for them if I can find a little receipt. I'm sure it comes with a little. Uh, where's my phone? That might be a good idea. I'll get my phone because that has the right price in that I paid. And then we'll be able to see that I actually paid for them. Okay, so yeah, those two tops I picked up were 9 99 for two tops, which for the quality and stuff like that of them, five of her tops, like, really, really good. So the next top that I picked up for her, which when I seen this little slogan on it, I just loved it. Um, it's another, like, kind of high-necked, long-sleeve black top this time, but it says, Be the Rainbow in the Storm. And I just loved it. I thought that was such a cute little kind of quote for writing on the front of it. And again, just an easy throw on little t-shirt for her. And this was 7 99 She has like a lot of sweatshirts and things like that as well. But we don't really seem to have any long sleeve tops. So that's why I've picked a few long sleeve tops up this time for her. I think the only long sleeve top she has is the two loungewear sets that I have for her from Zara the last time. Uh, yeah, I picked up this little one. I thought this was beautiful as well. And it'll go with so much. Like I said, in the last Zara haul, I had picked up... A uh, lounge set and I absolutely love the lounge sets from Zara and they're such good prices for what it is that you're actually buying. So this little lounge set that I bought was $12.99 which if I, if I could let you feel how soft this is I would. It comes with these little leggings um, and they are, it feels like cashmere, it's actually that soft. Um, and it's in this rib detail and it's like a knit but it's like a really soft, I can't even, how do we explain this? It's like that proper velvety knit 
it's so soft for that part. On the back it has yeah, this little label on the back of it which says special edition made with love. I love the fact that it's got like a little elasticated waist. Now these probably will still be a little bit big for Frankie but the aim of this haul was to actually get some items that she's going to be able to keep growing into because all of her other stuff is starting to get a little, little bit small for her. So even though this won't fit her right now, it will fit her into like January, February which is going to be like the coldest probably months off Scotland because I always find that January, February, March is freezing in Scotland so this will be lovely. So that's the leggings that come with it and it also comes with this long sleeve top. Again another long sleeve top but this feels more like a sweatshirt rather than like a t-shirt because it's quite thick inside it but it has this little slogan on the front which says Amiga forever and I just love it again it's that really soft kind of knit feeling um, and it's just such a nice quality little sweatshirt for her to wear. And this is a two piece set so when you're paying, what did I say it was? So when you're paying £12.99 for this absolutely amazing little set that's super soft and high quality then I'm not really complaining very much. Okay I've picked up two sweatshirts for her because I absolutely love putting an oversized sweatshirt on Frankie. I go for comfort more than anything for her and if I could get stylish and comfort for her then I'm happy. So they're just super cosy, it keeps her warm. I know that wherever we're going she's going to be toasty on the inside and that's like the main thing for me. So one of the sweatshirts that I picked up was this little one. I think this has been on the Zara website for quite a while. I just really liked it. And it's like this kind of charcoal colour with these little beige... I don't know if they're beige or like an like an off grey coloured polka dot on them. And as you can see, it's just like a little oversized tight style off sweatshirt for her. So this one was £9.99. Um, again, brilliant quality. These are quite thick as well. And these wash. Amazing. She has... How many sweatshirts from... Zara. I'm sure we've got about three or four sweatshirts from Zara and every single one of them are still perfectly shaped the way they were when we bought them and they're still as soft and they just wash really good so and the oversized fit of them is just so nice like they have like this kind of bat wing type effect underneath the arms. Um, a bit like actually my top just now like it goes a little bit wider. I think it looks really cute in a toddler having these little oversized sweatshirts so I picked this one up for her. And then the next sweatshirt I picked up, see when I seen the illustration on this, I was like, oh, this is adorable. And I'm not really one for putting character wear on her. Like, she'll put, like pajamas and stuff, I love putting in like Elsa pajamas and Bing pajamas and Peppa or anything like that. Because they're pajamas, it's fine. See, for going like out and about, I don't really put too much like character based t-shirts or jumpers or anything on her. No, and it's it's nothing against it for anybody else who does. It's just my preference and I'm just, I would prefer to put it in things that are a little bit more kind of neutral based and I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just the way I like it. So don't take offence if your children do wear lots of character things. I just, I just don't, don't really put it in that kind of stuff. But when I seen this, I thought this is my style of character items if that makes any sense whatsoever and it is this little sweatshirt here with the snoopy illustration on it which if you can see it just looks like a little drawing on it here and it obviously has all the different characters and stuff like that on it with little snoopy and then on the back which is the other little bit that kind of got me because i love when there's like back detailing it has an illustration on the back as well which i thought was absolutely gorgeous and this color really suits frankie it's like that kind of dusty pink and i just thought it was like perfect. Again another oversized style sweatshirt for her but this is the kind of character wear that I like to kind of put her in. I can see her getting a lot of wear out of this one. This one was 14 99 I like these. I forgot to mention as well I've gotten all these items in 18 to 24 months. Frankie's currently wearing all her 12 to 18 months but I can only see her really last in like another month and most of it. That's um, the first box. Now this is the one that I end up getting discounted on so this is my Black Friday sale stuff and I literally these are just like the last three items that I have picked up but I picked up a pair of leggings again in this kind of charcoal grey um, knit material and they've got these like little cuffed 
bottoms but it's just this kind of knitted material again i'm just trying to think about coziness for her so i've picked these ones up they do have a little um drawstring thing on the front but it's not like a proper drawstring although the waist is elasticated which is great and i managed to pick these up for £4.79 so i couldn't really complain when i'm getting them for less than a fiver okay second last item is a uh, another long sleeve top i seen this one and i just thought it was really cute as well and this is the this is like the really thin material like what our lounge sets are that she's got just now i thought this would be great for putting underneath like a sweatshirt so that she's got something under if she wants to take one of them off but this is a little gray long sleeve top again with a little kind of frill detail around the edge in it's like a normal color um you would say and it has these like little like flowers designed on them Again, I thought that was really, really cute. And these seem to be like really comfy for her because they're super like stretchy and stuff as well. So whatever she's doing, playing wise, like she's never restricted in what she's doing. And I managed to pick this one up for £4.79 as well. So another little bargain. And I love when I can pick up something cheaper than what it was. Okay, the last item I have picked up in this haul is actually a jacket. So Frankie does have a few jackets that we put her in, but they're all like kind of cosy jackets, like furry and fluffy and whatever else. But she doesn't really have a jacket that's like a waterproof kind of warm jacket. She has a Michael Kors one that my mum got her last year at Christmas time, but it is only a 12 months like an age 12 months and it's starting to like ride up her arms, it's starting to ride up her back and I can already feel it's starting to be a bit tight when I'm like, when if she's got like say a sweatshirt underneath trying to kind of zip it up. So I know she's not got very much longer in that one and I know we have got a good few months off this cold weather upon us. So I thought we'd pick another jacket up that's kind of a bit more waterproof but warm at the same time. So this um, actually originally was like £40 I think it was in this jacket which is really expensive for a kid's jacket but they had it reduced down, down to £23.99 and I thought do you know what I'm just going to pick it up while it's at that price because it's such a nice jacket and it's neutral so it'll go with loads and loads of bits. Our Michael Kors one's like a pink one and it's absolutely beautiful but I haven't got really one that's like a muted tone that can go with any outfit that she's got on so I picked up how cute is this? little parker jacket and it's like a black one so it'll go with all our outfits i'll not have to worry about like what it's going to go with or what it's not going to go with and it's got this amazing little fluffy furry hood on the inside um again it's really puffy so it's nice and warm and cozy um and yeah i just absolutely adored it see when i seen it on the website and i was like oh i'd seen it the first time when i made the first order and then i was like oh i'm not going to pay that kind of money for it so i just left it and then when it went down in the sale i picked up as soon as i could <laughs> so again i picked this up in an 18 to 24 months and it says that it is um down feather that's on the inside of it it's just the normal kind of lining but i thought this was just an adorable little jacket to be able to put on her now i know what some people are probably going to say like she's a little girl why are you putting her in blacks and greys and things but that's just I wear black all the time so it would just be it's just how I it's just how I dress her I love pinks and stuff on her but I'm not like an over overly big pink person so yeah put a wee bow on her hair or put a wee clip on her hair so people know she's a girl because some people can be like especially with her name because her name's Frankie and if she's dressed in like her black and whatever else and so I'm just like, oh, what's the name? And I'm like, Frankie, like, oh, he's so cute. And I'm like, gee. <laughs> so it is partly my fault because I dress it in this kind of stuff. But do you know what? I've dressed in this kind of stuff my whole life. My name's Nikki. So that could have been boy girl as well. So it just, it's just how it is. But yeah, I absolutely love this little piece. So glad I managed to get that in this haul. Okay, so that is it for our Zara haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, I'll probably be bringing these every couple of months because I would rather put a little bit of money into getting items that I know that Frankie's going to get the wear out of. Um, the last one that we did was back in September. So she's been wearing all those clothes from September to now, which is great. Like, And she wears them all the time and they've washed a million times as well. So I know that when I'm putting that money out on something that I'm getting the quality and the like the money back for it if that makes sense absolutely love shopping in zara for kids um i do like shopping in the adult section as well but i just find their does anybody else find zara online like really confusing to look at their items because of the way they pose for stuff so i follow this girl on instagram called mayflower mama i'm pretty sure a lot of you's already following as well but she's done like a couple of reels on her instagram basically like 
doing her own interpretation of the Zara online like modeling <laughs> they're absolutely brilliant because they're so true like they've got people sitting in a sink or sitting upside down to show your shoe and it's just it's just hilarious and as much as like it obviously works for them because people still buy the outf outfits but i find it quite hard to look on the adult section just purely because of that but the kids section is a lot easier they're not as crazy with their poses um and i do i do like their outfits so yeah i'm really really chuffed with all these little bits and pieces and I can't wait to dress Frankie in them and I'm so glad I filmed this video now because now she can actually start to wear them because <laughs> they've been sitting in the boxes well actually that's a lie some of it's been sitting in a box for the last like week and the other box only arrived yesterday so I've just managed to get <laughs> she can start wearing them soon especially some of these little jumpers they're so cute but yeah so I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give it a massive thumbs up not a thumb like mine but a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel welcome it's nice to see you and i hope you stick around for a little bit longer and check out some more of our videos if you enjoy seeing this kind of content make sure you comment down below so that i know what kind of things to bring my toddler haul seems to be doing quite well on youtube so if you want to see more of these please let me know and i'll be sure to upload a few more videos like this i'm quite nosy i love to be able to see what people buy for their kids and that as well so i hope you have enjoyed it too but yes until next time i shall see you again really really soon see you later bye